welcome back to my channel. If you like DIYs, thrift flips, furniture flips, all the good stuff, make sure you press that subscribe button for me. But this week, I'm actually excited for this project. I had something completely different in mind. I was looking on anthropology and I found some really, really cool like clay mugs. And it's still in my head that I wanna DIY these clay mugs, like be able to bake them in my oven and paint them in my oven. But I hit a major roadblock because it turns out that at home clay is not food safe. And then I could not find a sealer that was food safe. And I mean, it'd be one thing if we were talking about like salads, you know, like a salad bowl, but we're talking about like a 200 degree liquid in a coffee cup. So I had to take a little bit of a different route. Come back and still make those clay mugs. But while I was looking for inspiration for the first project, I came across these mugs on Anthropology, and they were really dope, like moon phase mugs, but they were $400. $400, like if you can spend $400 on five mugs, that's awesome. I know I can't and I also have a really good feeling that I can DIY these super easily and have fun doing it. So I'm gonna challenge myself to DIY these moon phase anthropology mugs. Materials that I ended up getting, I went to Dollar Tree and I got five just plain black mugs. I love Dollar Tree. And I got a couple packs. I just did black polymer clay, and this is like the at home clay. And I'm gonna be making loud ass bird today. And I'm gonna be making the. I'm gonna be making the moon shapes out of the polymer clay. Then I also went and got some gold leaf paint. If you guys watch my projects, you know I love gold leaf. And I'm gonna be painting the moon shapes gold with the gold leaf paint. What I went and did is I went and got a Mod Podge to seal the exterior. Now this is where I come in and say, you guys do your own research, figure out what you're most comfortable with. I felt like if I'm just sealing the outside of it, then I'm fine with using something that's not completely food safe. But from my research, if you let a sealer cure for the full amount, and this one says 28 days, then it becomes food safe. I mean, this is just for the outside. The way that I set up this project is like, the inside's already good to go, so like the hot liquid isn't gonna be in touch with this, but I probably will cover the lip portion of the cup with this, and I'm comfortable doing that. I'm gonna do a DIY speckle on the outside of the mug, but looking at the pictures, it actually looks like there's a lot of texture underneath that glaze. I found this stone spray paint, and it's like black with like, it's very textured with like white speckles in it. It's gonna be freaking perfect to just give the cups a little glaze with this first, and then go in and add the moons and bake it. So that's the first thing we're gonna be doing is spray painting the mugs, and I'm super excited to see how well I can accurately DIY these. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. You got a fast car, and I want to take it to anywhere. Maybe we can make a deal. Maybe together we can get somewhere. Any place is better. Stand from zero, got nothing to so I'm basically taking the paper out and then taking a wet paper towel and just kind of cleaning up the the rims. All right, so it is the following day, about 24 hours later. I've left these outside to kind of just bake or cure in the sun a little bit and just make sure that they get extra dry. But um, it looks good so far, it's very textured and I think actually the less spray is better for this, but um, you can kind of tell it's not like coming off on my hand, so that's good. So I'm just gonna leave these out while I start on the moon shapes. Um, and then I'm gonna bake the clay on to the mugs. So let's go do the moon shapes. All right, so back in the house, next thing we're gonna do is carve out the moon shapes to put onto the coffee cups. I have my polymer clay. You're gonna wanna have like some kind of roller. Is that what those things are called, the little pin rollers? Have like one of those rolling pins, use a rolling pin or else just use like a clean um, glass bottle. And then you want a stencil to like shape out 
your moons and you want them all to be like in unison and like the same size so if you find like a circle stencil that you can kind of use as reference I'm actually using my mod podge lid any kind of old knife or like single razor blade or you know tweezers whatever is going to be great <laughs> So you can warm up the clay a little bit in your hands and then grab your rolling pin or your round glass bottle and just kind of roll it out. You're going to want it, you know, pretty thin for this because it is going to be stuck to the side of the mug, but you're also going to want it even, as even as you can get it. You'll find work and I'll get promoted and we'll move out of the shelter, buy a bigger house, live in the suburbs. Once you get that clay flattened out, then you can grab your stencil and we're going to want to do four round circles and you want them to be as unison and um, even as you can possibly get them. I, I had a feeling that I belong. I, I had a feeling I could I end up using this little garnish knife that I have and it makes it super easy to kind of just cut out the clay, kind of like trace around the stencil a little bit and cleaning up those lines and just making sure that it looks clean and nice and good to go. I got a job that pays all our bills. Stay out drinking late at the bar. Some more of your friends than you do your kids. I always hope for better. Thought maybe together you and me find it. I got no plans. I ain't going nowhere. Take your fast car and keep on driving. Okay, so after we have the four circles, and you're gonna need four, not five, because one's gonna be whole, one you're gonna cut in half, and then you have the two crescents, so it's gonna turn out to be five. But you need four, and make sure they're pretty even, and the widths are the same. Um, we're gonna start with the easiest one, which is gonna be just cutting one in half, and I'm gonna use this one because it seems like it's the most symmetric. So that's gonna be the easiest one. I'm just gonna grab my knife and kind of trace right down the center of that circle. And then if you guys happen to catch my DIY like moon phase wall art video that I did, you kind of know my trick for creating these moon phases. But I basically go get another round stencil that's a little bit smaller than the one I used to make the overall shape. And I basically just use it as reference to create that crescent. And then I'm gonna grab my knife and kind of just like stencil out where I want the crescent to start. And it's a really good hack. Since half of the phases need to go the opposite direction, I'm gonna to have to flip over a few of the pieces and flatten out the other side. And it gets a little tricky, but that's why a spatula is going to help. So once the shapes are good to go, then I'm gonna bring my mugs in from outside and I'm gonna prep the shapes. And I'm gonna do that by scoring them. This is gonna help the clay kind of stick to the mug. And scoring, you could also call it like hashtagging. I'm just gonna put a bunch of little lines in it like this. Um, with my knife, and then it'll be good to go. I also decided to go in and add like three drops of super glue, but this is just because I'm being paranoid. After that, it's truly as easy as it sounds. You're just gonna stick the shape to the side of the mug, and I'm just gonna keep pressing it. You can also go back in with the knife and actually like keep shaping it if you need to, or if you feel like something got a little wonky, you can um, continue to shape that moon. The worst OCD side of myself came out during this project, so if you feel like something's uneven, it's not too late to peel it back off and like reshape it and put it back on. The crescent moons were definitely the most difficult part because I found that every time I moved them or pressed them that they would kind of take a different shape. So I ended up redoing them probably like three times until I finally got them to look really similar and I was happy with it.
This is where I started getting really excited because it's starting to come to life, but the next part is just gonna be baking it, and it's super important to put the mugs in the oven cool first, and then I'm gonna go in and heat it up while they are in the oven. Okay, so yesterday I hit like another little speed bump because I was like, can you bake spray paint, right? And from what I found, yes, you can bake spray paint. But I got a little bit nervous because this is like that stone textured spray paint. Regular spray paint, yes. This textured spray paint, I'm not 100% sure. Once spray paint is sprayed, it's no longer flammable. It just becomes... Um, combustible, whatever that word is, where it can still catch on fire, but, oh wow, that just scared the <laughs> Oh my gosh. Um, so anyways, my point is I'm sticking really close to the oven just to keep an eye on things and to just make sure that everything's good. This is pretty smoky in there. Pretty smoky. Um, actually, this is really important. I'm just going to turn off the oven and I'm going to let it completely cool before I mess with it because hot clay can crack and like explode really easily. So I'm just going to let it cool in the oven and I'll come back in a couple hours. Alright, the mugs are dry. The clay is pretty hard. They're cooled off for the most part. So all that's left is to just paint the gold and then put a seal on it. So what do you guys think about how they turned out? Do you like them? Do you think they look similar to the Anthropology ones? And of course mine were just $35 instead of the Anthropology's $400. So thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. I really, really appreciate it. I did just make a new Instagram. It's looking through Amira blog. I'll link it below. Make sure to follow me on there and let's keep in touch. Well, thanks again for watching this, guys. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Comment below and let me know who's watching and say hello. And please press subscribe for more DIYs, thrift flips, and the occasional wellness tip. Well, I will see you guys next week. But like I always say, love hard, be light, and always have a little faith in your future. See you guys then. Bye!